party over. Your saxophone got rid of the last of them. Now what? <clears throat> a late snack with a member of the bar. Of the female persuasion. Naturally. Have fun. Listen, if you're alone. Now I've got a date. Thanks to you. That speech you made to the jury today, it not only made our client a free woman, but it brought joy to the heart of a wonderful human being. You got a date with Joyce Mainwaring. Have a good time. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll look for work. It'll look for us, Frank. It's out there. People violating contracts, swindling, trespassing, killing, reusing postage stamps, crimes beyond counting. And come morning, some citizen unjustly accused of an interesting one will seek us out. And we'll be ready.
morning, a deal. Perhaps my partner will complete the thought. Here's a deal. Gentlemen. All rise. Court's in session. Honorable Prater D. Hardcastle presiding. Hardcastle? What happened to Gentle Ben? It's old hang him high. Jessica, we've got to adjourn and talk this over. What for? A deal is a deal. People against Gerber for sentencing. Miss Gerber, you've pleaded guilty to three counts of disorderly conduct. It is the sentence of this court that you serve six months on each count, consecutively, to a total of 18 months. Joe, you promised. Take it easy, honey. Your Honor, the defendant has been a responsible, respectable working woman for the last six months. Yes, before that, she was working men. And now she's rehabilitated, Judge, or would be if you didn't take her away from her job and lock her away with a hardcore element. You heard the sentence, Counselor. I heard a sentence, Judge. I think it was left over from another case. What about the probation report? I read it. And the recommendation on sentencing? In which the people joined, Your Honor. And which I intend to ignore. Judge Buckminster might have paid a little more heed, but he has a bad cold and I've come over from Department D. To dump double pneumonia on my client. Behave yourself, Counselor. <laughs> I can't go back inside. Easy, Greta. We'll knock it down and appeal. Counsel, will you please inform your client that this is a court of law? Oh, is that what it is? Control yourself, Counselor, and your client. I will, as soon as you control your prejudices. What? My colleague meant that our client was carried away by what she felt was an excessive sentence. Face it, Judge, you won't be happy until you put somebody in the stocks. Mr. Rossetti, don't try my patience. Why not? You've tried mine for years. I find you in contempt. Today is Friday. At 5 p.m., you will report to the municipal jail, where you will spend this weekend and every weekend until you have purged yourself with a public retraction and apology. Court is dismissed. Gee, Joe, that was great work. That was perfect for our new... for our former client. Grounds. Brutal sentence. That's not grounds for an appeal. It's only grounds for insulting the judge. Hang him high, Hardcastle, you call that a judge? But whatever, you just happened to lose us a client with looks, intelligence, and a sister unjustly held in jail. Oh, Beverly Dresden. And you're going to jail is not going to bring her back. Joe, you are making a mistake. You think I'm taking too much? I always overpack. I mean going to jail. You should have apologized to Hardcastle. Uh, did Gandhi apologize? Nathan Hale, Hardy Leatherman. Hardy Leatherman? The guy who made this luggage, it doesn't close. He should have apologized. Hey, Joe, do you know what you're doing? I was a cop. I know it's in jails. There's murderers, there's thieves, there's crooks, there's cranks, there's weirdos, there's perverts. Come to think of it, they're your kind of people. Joe, this is not the movies you're going to. Once that door closes, it stays you're closed. You're wasting your breath, Frank. There's no turning back for me now. But there is. All you have to not do is... a question. A principle is a principle. Excuse me. Beverly Dresden. Oh, hi. Yes. Hi. Uh, what are you doing at the jail? I'm visiting my sister, Sylvia Crawford. Oh. I thought I'd better see her before I talk to you about handling the case. She's agreed. After what you saw in court today? Because of what I saw. Two lawyers who go to bat for their clients, who uh, go to jail for them. You are superb. You're just what Sylvia needs. You're still inside, Mr. Rossetti. It's after five. If you're holding dinner, Ortiz, uh, just go on ahead without me. Judge Hardcastle left us strict instructions. One minute, Ortiz. What's the charge against your sister? Murder. But she didn't do it. Well, there's one small problem. I seem to be tied up for the weekend. Well, Miss Dresden can brief me. Uh, I can go with her. Say the two of us can... If you don't have any plans for, uh... Well, I think I can handle it, Joe. You can handle it. You can't even ask the girl to dinner. But what a nice idea. Miss Dresden, would you like to have dinner with me? Yes. <laughs> Joe, listen. Hey, why don't you come with us? Now get Hardcastle on the phone. Forget Gandhi and Nathan Hale. I don't know about those fellas. The judge cannot be reached until Monday. 
I'll find him for you. No, 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 no. It's a matter of honor. Mr. Rossetti, it's after five. Joe, we need you. Yes, you do. And you may have me. We'll tell you Monday if we're taking the case. I'll talk to your sister tonight. She's in here, isn't she? Yeah. The women's side. But you got to be nuts. Inmates cannot visit each other. Come on. This way, Mr. Rossetti. Your valuables. You took the civil service exam, Ortiz, or hired someone to take it for you. You know the statute. Restrictions on visiting hours shall not apply to attorney-client conferences. Yeah, but that don't mean that... Where the words of the statute are clear, the legislative intent will not be examined. It's Caminetti versus U.S. I want to see Sylvia Crawford, Ortiz. Right after dinner, Mr. Rossetti. What are you thinking? I'm thinking what I've learned most about Sophia Crawford is that she has a very loyal sister. Listen, we could continue. Do you live far from here? Because if you don't, since we haven't quite finished... Would you like to take me home? <laughs> what a nice idea. Talking out has made me feel much better. It was a good dinner. Boss said no check, no check for you ever. You're Joe Rossetti's partner. Anyway, it was a good dinner. It was a rotten. Such small portions, Ortiz, said there, Mr. Rossetti. Yeah. 